Temple Baptist Church, located in the northeast corner of 73rd and Cleveland, 3800 East 73rd Street. All roads lead to get civic here on this corner. We're glad to be the house of the Lord once more again. We thank you for those who are in sanctuary today, those who are on our free conference call. We thank you for listening in. And to all of our Facebook crowd, we thank you for joining in with us today. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We thank you for supporting our ministry. We have to continue to do so and, and do so. Those who are not, you can do it safe and securely on our website at gntbckc.org. That's gntbckc.org where you can give safe and securely through our cash app and our push pay. We just thank the God for another Sunday. We thank God for yeah. a beautiful week and, a, and our Thanksgiving and all that he's provided for us. We just thank God for his grace and his mercy. And we're glad to be in the house of the service of the Lord once more and again. Amen. One more time. One more time.
praise, he's worthy to be worshipped. Worship to be means his work. There's some work in it. Praising God. Amen. For he is good all the time. Amen. Thank God. I bless the lesson again. We uh, thank you for those who are here today again to all that are assembled on our voices. We just thank God for you. Thank God for the power of being connected. And again, we thank you for the support from all of you, our listening audience. We pray for you. Continue to pray for us. Amen. Amen. That the Lord will continue to just bless us. Amen. Amen. And do what he would have us to do. Amen. Amen. Again, our response to reading today, Psalm 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp. I bid you follow morning oil for the lamps of men to light the world. Again, we believe that it's the word of God that is the is the oil in our lamps. Amen. The Bible encourages us to keep our lamps trimmed and burning. Amen. Be ready. Amen. For the bridegroom is surely on his way. Amen. So we must spread the word of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. To all who we hear. Amen. To those who don't want to hear. Amen. To stop us. Continue to spread the word of God. Amen. Amen. That Jesus came the Lord of glory. Amen. 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 He's worthy to be praised. Amen. So again, we thank you for uh, where to be with us today. We pray that you continue to look our way. Amen. We look for a church home. Amen. We ask you to come and join us. Uh, the church of a friend of the spirit. Amen. Amen. Come and come with us. Amen. And we will do you good. Let's do all we can. Why? Continue to pray that the Lord will bless us Thank you, Lord. in our evangelism and discipleship, that we will continue to grow and be all we can be. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask the music ministry to come, uh, give us another selection, and we will uh, prepare our hearts for uh, the morning message. Amen.
God. For his grace, thank God for his mercy. Amen. All we have. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift come down from the Father's light. Where there is no shadow of turning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. We're grateful to the Lord and how faithful that he's been to us. Amen. In spite of ourselves, God is still faithful. Amen. 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 Thank you. Ministry of once again. And let's bow here to the word of prayer. You know about our Father. Lord God, we come once again about his and other hearts. Yes, Lord. And Father God, we come realizing that you're God and sat in judgment of another. And Father God, as we enter your throne room in prayer, Lord, we just ask you to search our hearts. Lord, forgive us of our sins, our transgression. Lord, things we've done and thought were deep. Lord, that's made you unhappy. We ask for forgiveness right now. Oh, Father God, we just come with the spirit of thanksgiving. Yeah. Still thank you for another day. Still thank you, Father God, for how you walked over the last night while we slumbered in the sun. Thank you, Father God, as you gave us safe passage to visit your house yeah. of prayer. Yeah. So, Father God, we just say thank you, Lord, for the beautiful snow that has fallen to the ground. Realizing, Lord, that no two snowflakes are the same. Your, your hand of creation is all in nature. Yeah. And Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for who you are. Yeah. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for again, your, your mighty hand. The mighty works that you do. We thank you for the victory right now. Thank you, Lord. Somebody said, we don't have to wait for the battle's over. We can shout now, yeah. for our victory is in Jesus. Oh, Father God, we lift up the sick to shed and bereave. We lift up, Father God, those who head or bow down in bereavement. Realizing, Father God, that a few days ago there were some empty seats and people at our table, Lord, because you called some people home this year. And they're spending their first Thanksgiving in heaven with you. So, Father, we ask that you continue to comfort those. For you say you never leave us comfortless. Lord, you say you would. Uh, be a keeper, Heavenly Father. You would never leave us nor forsake us. And so, Father God, we just pray for uh, our world in this condition, Lord. We still pray for Lord, uh, what's going on with Russia and Ukraine, Lord. We lift up, Lord, the Hamas and Lord, the Gaza Strip, Lord, the, the Israel. You have asked us in your word, Lord, to pray for the peace yeah. of Israel. Yeah. So, Lord, we lift them up right now. We don't understand at all, Father God, but we realize your word said. That in the end days there will be wars and rumors of war. Earthquakes in diverse places, Lord, you said, uh, that man's blood will wax cold. So, Father God, help us continue to hold on while we can. Hold on to that unchanging hand. And Lord, help us to be what you have us to be and be people on the last day. And Lord, we pray right now more of thee, less of me. More and more of thee, and less and less of me. More and more and more of thee, Lord, and less and less and less of me. Yeah. May the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be accepted on that side, O Lord, my strength yeah. and my redeemer. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. In Jesus Christ, we sure that we do pray. Amen and amen. 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 we like for you to turn to the book of Romans of the day. Romans, the fifth chapter and the twelfth verse. Romans 5 and 12, the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, and Romans. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, and Romans. Amen. The New Testament, when you find it, if you stand, just sit in the Bible if you have found it, as we read the Word of God. And we're going to, amen, look at this and uh, starting at the 12th verse of chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read from the HCSB translation. It says, Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, mm -hmm. and death through sin, mm -hmm. in this way death spread to all men. Mm -hmm. Because all have sinned. In fact, sin was in the world before the law. But sin is not charged to a person's account when there is no law. 14 verse, never to the less, death reigned from Adam to Moses, 
even over those who did not sin in the likeness of Adam's transgression. He is a prototype of the coming one. Amen. May the Lord have the blessing of the readers here and do it of his holy word. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord with this one too. Amen. Amen. Look at this verse on today. Amen. It speaks from the thought, more to be thankful for. More to be thankful for. I pray all had a wonderful time celebrating Thanksgiving with plenty of fun, food, and fellowship. Amen. With your family and friends, I pray you had a good time. Amen. Amen. However, there is more to be thankful for. Uh, we have to be thankful for more than just the food, the celebration, being among family and friends. There's more that we should be thankful for. And just to remind you of today, when we look at this passage, uh, we find out that it points to a, a great thing that we should be thankful for. And that is our salvation. Uh, we should still be thankful for what the Lord did on Calvary's hill. I believe sometimes we lose sight of what really goes on around us. Uh, we get busy with the cares of this world, and we forget what it's all about. In a few weeks when we celebrate the birth of Christ, again, some folks may forget what it's truly about. It's not just the sharing of gifts, but if you think about that one day the Lord sent his son, birthed through a woman, Naturally, he came for a purpose. Amen. So we think about these two holidays, if you will, that are so close together. That's on the church calendar, if you will. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Amen. We are thankful to God, not just on one day, but we're thankful to God every day. Uh, we've shared them again, the 34th Psalm. Psalms, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah. We're to thank God for all that he's done and not lose sight that, amen, because it's not me. I didn't do it all by myself. I'm here because my mama prayed for me. My grandmother prayed for me. Amen. Somebody undergirded, undergirded me when I was coming through life as a young, amen, foolish, stiff-necked, stubborn young man. I made it through the prayers of family, amen. amen. And we thank God for family. We thank God for the prayers of the righteous of as much, amen. I didn't turn out too bad, but I know I was bad, amen. Amen, but we thank God for those. And Paul encouraged young Timothy, he talked about his grandmother and his mother, how they prayed for him, how they taught him. And he said, I know this same fire is also in you. He was raised in a, in a good way. So we thank God for our, our forefathers. We thank God for our parents or anybody. It might be just a deacon at a, a previous church or another minister, somebody else that influenced your life. That you can say, I thank you for impacting my life, for encouraging me uh, to be what I am today. But Thanksgiving, when we think about what happened at Calvary, it gives us, again, another reason to be thankful because there's more to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. Not just the food, not just the desserts. Amen. Again, not just the fellowship, but we're to be thankful when we sit back and look at our lives. Yes. How God has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Amen. 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 I'm glad I didn't have to chop cop. Say it all the time. I'm glad I didn't have to chop wood before yes. Mama could cook and go into the stove and heat up the oven and all that stuff. And there wasn't no oven. It's a pot belly stove. Amen. Amen. Didn't have all the luxuries of life. Yeah. Sometimes we forget that. We didn't have running water. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Didn't have an indoor toilet. Amen. Amen. We had the outhouse. Yeah. Amen. A lot of folks don't know about the outhouse. Mm -hmm. The young people don't know about it. Mm -hmm. But those are the things we had. But again, we were still happy. Mm -hmm. we, we were still happy. We Grateful for what was on the table. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thankful for what God provided. Yeah. Even if today our kids would turn their nose up at it, they what? I mean, <laughs> they wouldn't want no parts of it. Yeah. Amen. If you tell them to go to our house today, they look you crazy. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but that's what God has brought us to. And we ought to remember, we ought to tell our children 
this is how it used to be. We didn't always have a light switch on the wall. We didn't always have a thermostat where we could adjust the heat when it got too cold. Amen. A lot of women back in the day, they made a bunch of quilts. Amen. That was your heat. Amen. A lot of folks know about everybody taking a bath in the same tub. Talk about the children. I know that's what we did. You might have been when you had two tubs. Amen. But not us. Mom didn't have an Electrolux washer and dryer. We had what you call a number two tub and a scrub board. Amen. Every now and then, Mom, can I do it? Can I help? Amen. Just grab the clothes on that scrub board. In a number two tub. I don't know why they call it number two. I had like it. I don't know what number one is. I don't know if there's a number three, but I know about that number two tub. <laughs> amen, amen. And every now and then we rinse it out, we had a picnic, we put ice in it, that's where the watermelon was made. <laughs> and the number two tub. It wasn't no coolers and all the, all the luxury, coolers with wheels and all this stuff. No, no. We multitasked and used everything. Everything had a dual purpose. Yeah. Amen. amen. But that's what the Lord has brought us from. Yeah. And sometimes we lose sight of those things. Amen. They went to the store, amen, every other day. Buy clothes. You got what you call hand me down. Amen. If you're the youngest, you got the hand me down. And that included the shoes if they didn't get tore up. You got handed down shirts, jeans, socks. I'm going to talk about a darn socks. Amen. If I got a hold it, you fix it up. Pass it to your brother. Amen. Dress, ask the sister. We don't realize how far God has brought us from. Yeah, yeah. And we're not reminding our young people this is where we used to be. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What no, I didn't like this, the heat didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. We plot back to mama, but she said, well, kids in Biafra. Would love to have that food. But we didn't tell them I was sending to them. Oh, no. You'd have got back then. We weren't smart out of the you to call. Amen. But God provided for us. Amen. Again, He brought us from a mighty long way. And every now and then, I, I like to recall what it used to be like. They help me to be grateful for where we are today. Amen. And when we look back, amen, how God, God has truly blessed us. Amen. And that things are not what they used to be. Amen. Amen. We used to have to bring the next to chicken. Mm -hmm. There was no KFC, no Popeyes. Huh? You went out in the yard and chased one of them chickens down. <laughs> Dad would take him by the neck and snap that neck, then take the tree stump and chop off his head. And Millie was dinner. That was her name, Millie. <laughs> Don't have to do that today. We see so much waste of food. Amen. Of today. But God has brought us from a mighty long way. We're thankful for that, but there is more to be thankful for. When we look at where the Lord has brought us. In this text today, we find that. It says that sin entered the world. Yeah. Amen. Through one man. We know that one man was who? Adam. Adam. Let's turn to the book of Genesis. Genesis 2 17. Yeah. The first book of the Old Testament. Yeah. And let's just take a little trip here. Mm -hmm. Genesis 2 and 17. Jesus 2 17. Jesus is speaking in the Garden of Eden to Adam and Eve and says, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt what? Not, Not eat of it. Yeah. Why? For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Mm -hmm. Amen. Through one thing, sin entered into the world because they were disobedient to God. They ate of the fruit. Look at 3, 6. 
the sixth verse of chapter 3. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also, I'll well, throw this part out, mm -hmm. to her husband with her. Yeah, he was there all the time. She took of the fruit thereof, gave to her husband with her, and he did eat. Drop down to that 19th verse of chapter 3. It says, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread. Till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken. Amen. For dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Death came by one man. Again, the woman is mentioned because she was part of that fall in the garden of Eden. Amen. Because they were disobedient to God. That verse goes on to say, uh, back to our text of Romans 5 and 12, it says, and death through sin. And death through sin. If we look at Romans 6.23. Romans 6.23, the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. Romans 6.23 reads this. For the wages of sin is what? Death. 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 But the what? Gift. Gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Death comes through sin. In this way, death spread through all men. If we look at the 19th verse of Romans 5, 19. Romans 5, 19. If we look at uh, verse 21 or 19 and 21 uh, we, we find these words for as by one man's disobedience many were made what? Yes. sinners yes. so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous yes. 21st verse that as sin hath reigned unto death even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we find, again, death came by one man, and, and death through sin. And sin, the wages of sin is death. It says that this way, death spread through all men, because all have sin. Nobody is excused from sinful life. In other words, we're all born into sin. Amen. I mean, the baby that has yet come out of the mother's womb is born into sin. Amen. Uh, uh, the writer said, oh, wretched man that I am. He talked about how you knew me before I, 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 while I was still in my mother's womb. Lord, you knew me. You, you knew me. He, he knows us. Amen. Amen. When Jesus called the disciples, he said, there's one under a tree. He said, hey man, the Lord needs you. He said, how does he know me? He said, I saw you under the tree. Mm -hmm. He's all seen. He's all wise. He, God knows all, sees all, hears all. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so we find that sin entered into the world by one man. The 13th verse of Romans 5 says, in fact, sin was in the world before the law. And then when we look at this, we see that all this sin entered in before the law. The law being the new commandments, the Ten Commandments. Amen. But sin had already come in. Sin was in the world at an early time. We find that Cain killed his brother Abel. That was sin. Amen. And we found out that throughout the, the, the Old Testament, before the law was given, man had sin. But because there was no law, Amen. Man could not be held to his account because there was no law to say, do this or do that. So sin was not put to the account of man. But once the law came, once we had the law, 
amen, we were held accountable. Amen, before there were stop signs in the country, you, you just went, you just looked and you go. Amen. So if, if you ran into somebody, it, hey, you just had an accident. Because there was no law to say who was right and who was wrong. Amen. It was just an empty intersection. But when the law came, they start putting what? Stop signs. So you had to stop before you go. If there was an accident, now you are held accountable because you ran the stop sign. God has put laws in place now to keep us accountable. Accountable, amen, to what we do in this life. Amen. But law, but sin is not charged to a person's account when there is no law. Romans 4 15. Turn back to the fourth chapter of Romans and the 15th verse. Because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. You can't be held accountable, there's no law to fit what you did. To say you were wrong, you're at fault. But now that laws have been established. We must abide by what? The law. the law. Amen. We have no excuse. We can't say, I'm a Christian, so I can do what I want to do. No. Amen. I, I got so much money. I live in such a big house. I do this. No. If the law has been established, all men are held accountable to the law. That's right. It says, nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Man, death reigned, meaning it, it, it ruled. Amen. Death was, was there, sin was there from Adam to Moses. Yeah. Even over, over those who did not sin in the likeness of Adam's transgression. Yeah. Hosea 6 and 7, if you want to write that note down, amen. Sin in the likeness of Adam's transgression, amen. Again, all have sinned. Mm -hmm. And it says he is the prototype. Mm -hmm. Amen. In that 14th verse of, of uh, Romans 5. It says, even over them that had not sinned at the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. The figure. Mm -hmm. Your translation may say uh, the prototype, the likeness, the example. Mm -hmm. Because again, Adam was uh, uh, that which was to come. It's the Old Testament pointed to the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Amen. A prototype, again, of this pattern, if you will, an example. Mm -hmm. That's what Adam was. Again, again, oftentimes in, in, in manufacturing, they always make a prototype. They make an example first. Yeah. To say, this is how the rest of them should look like. Amen. Amen. Every car that come off this line, mm -hmm. if, if, if it's a Ford Escape, it's not going to look like a Cadillac. They're all Ford Escapes. Amen. 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 Fix and repair day. Prototype. An example. Mm -hmm. For he that was to come. Adam, he was the first Adam. Yeah. Christ is considered the second Adam. Mm -hmm. Amen. But sin was who? Adam. And life mm -hmm. is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Eternal life, mm -hmm. which is our salvation. Amen. The book of Romans, you see a lot of scriptures intertwined here in this Romans 5, 12 through 21, but it, it's really loaded up these first few verses that we see a lot of references to Romans. And that's because Romans, the book of Romans is, is the New Testament longest, most structured, and most detailed description of Christian theology. Amen. If you want to learn about Christian theology, theology is the study of God. Read the book of Romans. Amen. Get into the book of Romans and see the doctrines and the teaching about the Christian life. That's what the book's about. We see all this dealing with death through Adam and life through Christ. It's all found in Romans. Amen. Again, we find also when we try to evangelize, we find that in Romans, we have the Roman road. Uh, the Roman road is what is used to help evangelize and share the gospel with other people. Mm -hmm. And it starts out with Romans 6, which all have sinned, 3, 2, 3, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Don't let folks think that, you know, uh, you, you all saved and holy. And, mm -hmm. 
We were all sinners at one time. Saved by grace. Amen. Amen. We all have sinned. In other words, we're all on the same level. We all have sinned again. We were born into sin. Yeah. Amen. But we find out that through that sin, it has been erased at Calvary's Hill. Yeah. But we use those verses to share with us that there is a way. Yeah. Amen. There is a way mm -hmm. to the Father. Yeah. Even in this sinful nature, mm -hmm. there is a way. Mm -hmm. And that way is what we should be more thankful for what God has done. Amen. As we read on about uh, the coming one, Jesus Christ, uh, Romans 5, 15 says, but the gift is not like the trespass. Amen. We saw the gift for the way to sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. The Lord gave us a gift. The Lord God gave man a gift. Amen. But the gift, again, the 15th verse says, is not like the trespass. The trespass is the sin. For if by the one man's trespass the many died, how much more have the grace of God and the gift overflowed to the many by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And the gift is not like the one man's sin because from one sin came the judgment, resulting in condemnation. But from many trespasses came the gift, resulting in justification. Again, we have more to be thankful for. God has justification. He has made us righteous. He, we're made righteous. Amen. We're not righteous. We were made righteous. We have been justified by what? Faith. It's our faith that makes us whole. Amen. Amen. And said by one man's trespass, one man's sin, that's how. Death reigned through that one man. How much more with those who received the overflow of grace? The overflow of grace. In other words, grace is unmerited favor. Yeah. Amen. God, he, he gives it to us. And, and what did David say? That I anointed my head with oil and my cup right. runneth right. over. Amen. 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 Cup runneth over. Amen. There's a song that, amen, talked about. I, I'm drinking from my saucer. Huh? I, I'm drinking from my saucer because God has blessed me so. My cup is running over. And I, 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 I haven't drank out of my cup yet. I, I'm drinking from my saucer because God has so blessed me yeah. that I'm drinking from the saucer. I ain't even got the cup yet yeah. because His grace overflows. Yeah. Overflows. Great is thy faithfulness morning by morning. New mercy. I see. Amen. Amen. God has been so good to us. He brought us to him from a mighty long way. Amen. And his grace is the justification. We've been justified by faith. Yes. The 17th verse says, since by the one man's trespass, the sin, death reigned through that one man. Mm -hmm. Again, how much more for those who receive the overflow of grace and the gift of righteousness reign in the life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So if the sin touched everybody through one man, we, we have faith through Christ. We, through Christ, we have we've been justified. We've yeah. made righteous. Amen. And we have an overflow. Everybody yeah. has an overflow of God's grace. Mm -hmm. So then, the 18th verse says that through the trespass, there is a condemnation for everyone. Amen. That's what just means. Also, through one righteous act, there is life giving justification. For everyone, not just amen, any particular race, not just for any particular uh, status in society. God gives it to all men. All men. Amen. So also to the one man's obedience, so many will be made righteous. The law came only alone to multiply the trespass. In other words, a man saw that he couldn't keep the law. Amen. The law was made, but man could not keep the law. Man kept breaking the law. But where sin multiplied, watch this, grace multiplied even more. Huh? But where sin multiplied, grace multiplied even more. The 21st verse, so that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace will reign through 
righteousness resulting in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. More to be thankful for. First Corinthians also shared the thought in 1 Corinthians 15, 21. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also comes through a man. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. Amen. Yeah, that's why Jesus came. He came to conquer the grave and conquer death. Because he's coming back again. In other words, folks, it's simply saying, sin is through Adam and salvation is through Christ Jesus. Again, sin is through Adam. But salvation is through Jesus Christ. There's many who would say, oh, I've never sinned. I've, I've, I've kept, I keep the law. I do this. I do that. But they don't know that yet you're a sinner. Yeah. <laughs> we all have sinned according to the scripture. Amen. And salvation, the only way to salvation is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In other words, my dad used to say that all the time. In other words, in other words, in other words. Amen. The letter so that salvation by grace alone through faith alone. Again, salvation by grace alone Amen. through what? Faith alone. You have to have faith. Yeah. Salvation only comes by faith. Amen. What is salvation? Yeah. Salvation is to be saved from. To be saved from. What do we need to be saved from? Well, the wrath of God. Yeah. We're saved from the wrath of God. Through God's grace, yeah. he saved us. That's why we find Romans 10 and 9 let us know that with the, uh, uh, then if you believe in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead, yeah. thou shalt be saved. Amen. But the verse before that is said, if you confess the Lord Jesus, yeah. if you confess with your mouth yeah. and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, yeah. thou shalt be saved. Amen. Amen. More to be thankful for God's grace. More to be thankful for his mercy. More to be thankful for his deliverance. Yeah. A lot of us have been delivered from something. Yeah. Drugs, alcohol, whatever. God has delivered us yeah. from many things. And we ought to be thankful for his deliverance. Amen? Yeah. Amen. We said we've been rescued. We've been redeemed. We have been reconciled. Brought back in favor with God. It's through the blood. It's through the blood of Calvary. Amen. Romans 5, they said, but God. Now let's look back up here a little bit. Uh, Romans 5 and 6 says, when we were without strength, amen, it's in your Bible, Romans 5 and 6, write this down. It says, when we were what? Without strength. Without strength. Yeah. In due time. In due time. Right. Meaning at the right time. Yeah. Just in time. Somebody say he's our own time God. He said, what? Well, Christ. Christ died for the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Folks, that's me and you. Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. Drop down to 5 and 8, Romans 5 and 8. Said that God commended his love for us. Yeah. And while we're yet sinners, Christ, Christ what? Died. Yeah. He died. Amen. He died for us. Commended, meaning he demonstrated his love. The Lord just didn't say, I love you. <laughs> Amen. Many of us, men, would wouldn't get too far if we just told a lady, baby, I love you, and didn't show it. There ought to be some outward sign. Love is an action word. So God didn't just say, I love you. He didn't just say, I love you. He demonstrated, he commended his love towards us. That, wow. Again, we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. More to be thankful for. Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection. You know, in most cases, people usually don't celebrate death. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's mourning for you. know, the Bible says mourn for those who mourn, weep for those who weep, rejoice for those who rejoice. But many people don't get excited about death because we lost a loved one. We lost somebody dear to us. But we ought to be glad that Jesus died. Because he died for each one of us. Amen. That through his death, through the shedding of his blood, 
Without the shedding of the blood, the Bible says there is no remission, there is no forgiveness of sin. We have eternal life. Again, more to be thankful for. Christ going to Calvary's hill and dying for us. Amen. We ought to be thankful. However, I'm glad that all of us ought to be glad that Jesus died. Are we all rejoice because he died? Amen. Amen. And then all the atrocities of life. Can you imagine if we could stand to see that year and year and year after year? But one day the line is going to the angel declared to the disciples. When Christ got in the cloud and ascended to heaven after his resurrection. Amen. And the angels declared to them, ye men of Galilee, yeah. why stand ye here gazing yeah. that this same Jesus will come again in like manner? He's coming again. He went up on a cloud. That tells us he's coming back a cloud on a cloud. Christ is coming back again. That, or somebody helped to push you, to encourage you. Amen. There was something